court out of DeSoto, Texas. John Asia Cash, another forward, 6'2", junior out of McKeesport, Pennsylvania. And rounding out the starting five, it's going to be Paige Bayless, a 6'5", center, sophomore out of Queensland, Australia. All right, the lights back on in the uh, arena. Travis Mays in his fourth year with the SMU program. And the Tigers will come out now. Brooklyn McDavid, the first one out, the 6'1", junior out of Studio City. Brooklyn, the leading scorer for the Tigers, 23 points a game this year. She'll be joined on the front court uh, by Sophie Trigginson, the redshirt senior out of Colorado State, native of Denmark. Jessica Blakesley out on the wing, starting role, 5'10", senior out of Mercer Island, Washington. Kaylin Rondala, the sophomore out of Turlock, 6'2", sophomore guard. And uh, rounding out the starting five is Valerie Higgins, the 6'1 redshirt junior guard out of Granada Hills. The Tigers are coached by Mr. Bradley Davis in his fifth year with the Tiger program at the helm. He is uh, assisted by Amy Starr as the associate head coach, Amanda Brown, Lindsey Moore, the assistant coaches, Amanda Leland, the director of basketball operations, and Sarah Vargas, the trainer for the Tigers. Tigers in the home white, trimmed in the orange and black. SMU wearing their road uniforms, the royal blue, trimmed in the red and white piping. SMU lettering across the front of the jersey. The numerals in the back on the, in the red with their names, their last names above the numerals. The Tigers jersey just with the Pacific lettering no names on the back of the jersey. Infinity Robinson, the official today, was joined by Erica Parker and Lee Mullen, and we're underway from the Spanos Center. Glad to have you along the PacificTigers.com this afternoon for the championship game here of the 2019 Tiger Turkey tip-off. <laughs> SMU wins the tip. They'll go on offense out on the perimeter. Tigers playing tough man-to-man -to -man pressure here, but Bacon... Uh, there's been a, a slight change in the starting up. I'll get that in a minute. Bacon goes inside to uh, Bree, Bree Tolly. Misses a shot inside. Tigers get a rebound. Up they come. Triggetson along the right side. Now they'll slow it down. Amber Bacon, a 5'5 five, five sophomore guard, is a point guard, and uh, she has started. Here's Rondawa firing it in from the, the left side angle on the three-point line. So the Tigers get the quick jump there on the Rondawa triple off the left wing. It's 3-0 Pacific. So no Paige Bayless in the starting lineup. They're going smaller with uh, Amber Bacon, their point guard back in the starting role. She did not start yesterday against Cal State Northridge. Tigers in the man-to-man -man pressure half court. SMU goes out on the right wing for a back. Bradley jump shot that's short off the iron. Rebound loose. Still on the floor. Now Trickinson has it. Quick outlet to Justin Blakesley and senior from Mercer Island, Washington, will bring the ball up the court. Now they swing it left side to Rondala. SMU in a zone here. Higgins going to fire a right elbow jumper. No good. Ball is rebounded by SMU. Up out of the pack is Reagan Bradley. Bradley, a freshman from Little Rock. Up top to Jonasia Cash. Now Cash is going to dribble drive, penetrate off the window. No good with a runner. SMU with an offensive rebound. They are a tough rebounding team. They out-rebound their opponents by about four rebounds a game. 44 and a half rebounds. That's a lot of rebounds in a ball game. Tigers conversely average 36 rebounds a squad. There's a travel out on the perimeter. Reagan Bradley tried to juke the Tiger defense there and didn't put the ball down in time. Traveling violation. First turnover. Pacific with a basketball. Blakesley on the left wing. Had a look at a three. Bypassed it. Now the ball stolen out of Blakesley's hand by Bradley. Quick outlet for a layup attempt. Missed by Bacon. Oh, the Tigers dodged one there. Blakesley turned it over, and then Bradley just missed a running layup uncontested. Tigers with a rebound, and now they'll set it up in the half court. SMU allows only 56 points a game. And they like to run a methodical half-court offense. That's part of the reason. Now, here's 
Higgins inside has a shot blocked as she got a good entry pass from Rondala, but inside the paint, Higgins' shot was deflected and blocked officially. So SMU with a basketball trailing 3-0. We've played three minutes here. And Mustangs have yet to score. Here's a 15-foot straight-on shot by Tolley. Misses a little bit long, no good. Blixley with a rebound for the Tigers. Frickinson looks down low for a McDavid turnaround 15-footer that's too strong. Off the weak side with a rebound comes Bacon. She brings a left-hand dribble up, pulls up 12-footer in the key. No good. Offensive rebound. SMU now that's tied up. Tolley and Rondala and Frickinson all had their hands on the ball. Jump ball called. Tigers have possession off the alternate possession arrow. So unlike yesterday where every ticky-tack foul was called today, it looks like they're letting them play so far through the first three and a half minutes. Tigers three, Mustangs nothing. Blakesley works on the left side, has the ball poked away, and Cash goes for the loose ball, and I think well, they're going to call SMU with a foul there. Cash with a personal foul there. She stole it from Blakesley and then went Knocked the ball loose into the backcourt, went diving headlong, got to the ball first, the head of Blakesley, and the whistle was called. They said that uh, Cash tripped Blakesley going for the ball. Much to the chagrin of Travis Mays, the head coach of SMU. Now the ball poked loose, going into the lane, and for a lock, right hand layup is good for Jakia White, the sophomore out of DeSoto, Texas. Uh, SMU extremely quick. They have some really fast guards. Here's Rondala going to the rack, misses it off the window with some last-minute pressure. SMU out of the pack, three on two. Reagan Bradley pass out on the wing. It's deflected out of bounds off of Pacific. It'll be SMU ball. That was a three on two. It was not well organized. And Bradley attempted to kick it out on the wing, and one of the Tigers knocked it out of bounds. 24 seconds on the shot clock. The Mustangs will inbound it along the baseline to the left of their basket. Tigers in the man-to-man -man half court as Amber Bacon works up top, gives it up to Tolly. Tolly holds the ball, now picks up the dribble against Blakesley. Spin drive into the lane and a traveling violation called. So the turnover on SMU gives the Tigers the ball back and up they come. Higgins with the left-hand dribble, top of the key. Now goes to the rack, off the glass, and scores with a left hand. She had enough English to get that ball softly off the window, kiss it home for the bucket. Tigers up 5-2 to two here with 5.20 to go in the opening quarter. Out on the left wing is Reagan Bradley. Now she goes up top. The ball deflects all the way to half court before Bree Tolley tracks it down. Hands it off to Bacon. Sophomore guard out of Grand Prairie, Texas. He puts up a soft floater, no good. The ball comes out oh, on the wing. It's loose. Trigginson had it for a brief moment. Now it's on the floor, and it's going to be a jump ball, and it'll be SMU basketball. Off the alternate possession, and that gets us to inside five minutes, 4.54. We'll get the media timeout. 5-2 Pacific after... Five minutes and six seconds of action here, first half, excuse me, first quarter from the Spano Center in Stockton. We'll take the short break along the PacificTigers.com.
All right, back live, SMU with the basketball inside of five minutes remaining in the opening quarter. SMU going left to right as we view the court in the road blues, trimmed in the red. Breaking free in the middle of the key with a soft teardrop as Amber Bacon, nicely done there by Bacon. 5-4, Tigers lead up is uh, only one now. Here's Rondava firing from three in the right corner, no good. Long rebound with a breakout three on two. White throws it up with the right hand, it's an air ball, but off the weak side is Reagan Bradley. Right now, SMU is out hustling the Tigers. One of the concerns by Coach Davis in the pregame show was how energetic they would come out after playing yesterday. Of course, SMU played yesterday. They defeated Cal State Northridge. Here's a free throw line jumper by Bree Tolley. No good, Tigers get the rebound. It was Trickinson with the rebound. Up they come. Sophie's got to look at a three off the left wing and drain it. Sophie Trigginson with that quick release at bottom of the net. And the Denmark native has her first triple of the ball game. She's averaging 10 and a half points a game for the Tigers, shooting 42% from beyond the arc. And that time drains her first look at it today. And the Tigers back up by four here at eight to four. No changes into the lineup after the uh, timeout on the Tiger side. However, SMU has brought in Paige Bayless off of that timeout. She's fouled here as she attempts a shot off the left block. Bree, uh, Brooklyn McDavid of the Tigers committed the personal foul. She was on the back side of Bayless as she got that entry pass on the left block and blocked the shot but got a little arm in the process. So two free throws for Bayless at six foot five. She's a sophomore averaging five and a half points a game. She's been playing about 19 minutes a game for Coach Mays here through the first five games of the season. She makes both free throws. So it's 8 6. Tigers up by two points. Liana Tillman checks in for the Tigers. Rondawa checks out. Higgins has the ball in the right corner. Blakesley was there with her. Somebody was not supposed to be there. And now Higgins. Circles back from the top of the free throw line and cuts to the rack and scores with the right hand. A circuitous route to the basket there by Higgins, but she got the job done, avoiding the SMU defense in the process. Higgins has four points. Tigers up 10-6. Here's a baseline jumper, no good, by Kayla White, who's in for the Mustangs. White. Uh, 5'10 sophomore guard out of uh, DeSoto. She's the sister of Jakia White. Trickinson open off the left wing. It's another one deep this time, a little bit deeper, right in front of Coach Travis Mays of the Mustangs. And Trickinson has back-to-back -back threes on her shot. And now Tilly gets a steal as uh, Amber Bacon tried to penetrate. Beautiful pass up the court to Brooklyn McDavid who scores with the left hand. McDavid beat everybody up the court. Tillman found her with a perfect 40-foot pass. A beautiful assist by Tillman. And just like that, the Tigers up by nine. It's 15 to six. They try and go into Bayless. And McDavid fronts the low post, gets the steal, and then we get a whistle. What do we got here? Tigers were going to hustle out on a break. Somebody lost a shoe. It looks like... <laughs> Blakesley was running up the court, lost her shoe. That cost the Tigers a fast break as McDavid got the steal running the low post of Paige Bayless. And anyway, the Tigers have it off the turnover by the Mustangs. Got an offensive foul immediately on the Tigers. Uh, Savannah Whitehead, who just checked into the ball game, set a moving screen there. So it's an offensive foul on Whitehead. Two team fouls on the Tigers, one team foul on SMU. Only a minute 50 to go here in the first quarter. Working on the left wing is Reagan Bradley. She gets a pick way up there by Payless. Now they swing it on the right side to Bradley. Gets a pick by Bayless, backs the dribble off. Now they swing it on the left wing to Reagan Bradley. Great defense by the Tigers. And now Cassie, uh, Callie Kaiser, who's checked in, uh, gets the steal out on the wing, flips to Higgins, who goes to the rack and scores. His body's flying all over the place, but the Tigers execute off the turnover and the fast break, a beautiful bounce pass to Higgins, who went on to convert the bucket there. And the Tigers lead by double digits, 17 to six. Baseline drive off the left wing by 
Shayla White, and the Tigers are going to get the foul call. It'll be on Kaiser. Well, they're going to call it on Trigginson. Both were there, and Sophie got the leg out and tripped White, and that drew the whistle from Infany Robinson. John Asia Cash checks back in, the 6'2 junior <coughs> out of Pennsylvania. Tolly will get the first rest of the ball game for her. Travis Mays calls the four Mustangs over while White gets the free throw. First of which is good. She'll get a second one. Kayla White, sophomore out of DeSoto High School in DeSoto, Texas. 50% shooter on the uh, line. Yeah, they called that foul on Trigginson. Now the Tigers are saying it was on Callie Kaiser, so I was right with my initial call. Higgins gets a loose ball rebound off a miss by Callie Kaiser and puts it back up and in. Higgins was at the right place at the right time there. 19 to 8. We're inside of a minute to go now. First quarter. Bradley backs the dribble off. Now gets the ball over to Ariana Whitfield, who's checked in, a 5'6 junior out of Houston. Tigers swarm into the low post. Great help there by Liana Tillman. She got the deflection. Tigers get the steal. Higgins on the right wing. She stopped at the right elbow. Cross court to Trigginson. Tigers will have a chance to go for the last shot here if they choose to. Shot clock turned off. Higgins does, in fact, bring it out now, and they go to Tilly. Play set number one as Whitehead's going to come up and set a high post pick for Tillman. Tilly's going to brush her defender off with a switch out by Bayless. Now a step back to good by Tillman at the buzzer. Perfect execution by the Tigers junior out of Stockton's Lincoln High School. A beautiful finish on the back half of that first quarter by the Tigers. And they go on a nice run to open up a 13 point advantage. It's Tigers 21 SMU 8 after one. We'll take the break along the Pacific Tigers digital network. Four minutes of that first quarter. Pacific shot nine of 16 officially from the floor. That's terrific shooting, 56%. SMU at two of 12 from the floor. Only 17%. They shoot coming into play 37% uh, from the field. Only 14% on the year from beyond the arc. They're really not a three-point shooting team, obviously. So the Tigers with first possession here in the second quarter bring out Tillman, Trigginson, McDavid, Tally Kaiser, and Izzy Newman has checked in. McDavid's fouled inside as she faded away from about five, six feet away, got fouled in the process. Missed the shot, but a couple of free throws for Brooklyn here. Going to go on uh, John Asia Cash, who will pick up her second personal foul there. First personal of, excuse me, first team foul of the uh, quarter, of course. McDavid misses the first free throw. 81% this year from the charity stripe. McDavid was 67% last year. Got the second one to go, so one out of two for Brooklyn. She has her third point of the ball game. And the Tigers lead it 
up by 14 now. Now they get a steal in the half court. Trickinson reached in, poked it away, has the ball. They'll bring the left hand dribble up into the four court. Nobody picks her up, she'll fire it, misses. Wide left, no good. Trickinson wide open there, but missed the shot. Now in transition, White puts up a jumper off 10 feet away on the right side, no good. That was Kayla White. Tigers get another rebound. Check those rebounding numbers for you as quick as we can here. That was a concern coming into play. The Tigers had a plus three on the boards in that first quarter. Callie Kaiser fires it from three, misses off the uh, front off the iron. Issy Newman there for the Tigers. Put back no good, but Newman is fouled. She put up a left-hand little hook shot and uh, missed it, but she was fouled. So Newman will get a couple of free throws here. Isabel Newman, the Tigers junior guard. She's a six-foot product out of Simi Valley. Playing about 11 minutes a game so far this year. Averaging just inside of four points a game. This is the first free throw. The Tigers as a team have not shot the ball from the line well at all this year. Coming into play tonight, 66%. Newman misses both. They have been struggling from the line. And uh, those will cost you some close games as this season wears on. you got to get that fixed here. Tigers, I'm sure, will work on it. SMU with the basketball off the Newman missed free throw. Kayla White kicks it out on the left wing for a jump shot that's good just inside the three-point line. That was Ariana Whitfield, the junior, who scores about four points a game. She drained that one on the left wing. So it's 22-10. Tigers lead by 12. Cross-court pass tipped and deflected out of bounds by SMU. Tiger basketball, Higgins will inbound it right in front of the scores table to our left. It's inside of midcourt. Trickinson comes out. She'll get a breather. Higgins in for the Tigers. So Tillman, McDavid, Higgins, Callie Kaiser, and Izzy Newman out there for the Tigers at the moment. Ten seconds on the shot clock as Tillman gives the ball Tries to get the ball to Higgins. He's overplayed. The ball stolen by SMU. In transition, the left-hand layup is good by Amber Bacon. Good defense led to an easy bucket for SMU there, and it's a 22-12 squad. SMU out of the American Athletic Conference, which houses some excellent basketball teams. Here's a little floater on the baseline that is good. Not sure who that was. Let's take a look on the replay. I was blocked out. Higgins made a pass on the left baseline to Callie Kaiser who floated it up and in from 10 feet away. Nice replay by our camera crew inside the arena here led by Michael January and his team. Nice left hand running hook shot in the lane by John Asia Cash. She scores for the Mustangs just like that. Get the two points back. 24-14. Newman on the left wing is going to travel before she picked up the dribble and drove baseline. Got a kick out pass from Higgins who was uh, up at the top of the circle and gave a quick left wing feed to Newman who picked, picked up the dribble, drove baseline hard but drug that pivot foot to draw the whistle and the turnover on the Tigers. The turnover numbers through the first quarter was 6-3. Six, six for SMU, 3 for the Tigers. Kayla White. Kayla White up top, works against Blakesley. Tigers continue man-to-man -man pressure. Ball comes into the low post, and Blakesley tagged down, and Brooklyn was on the back side. They're going to get Brooklyn for a hook uh, with the arm. So Brooklyn picks up her second personal foul with 6.50 left. No move by the Tigers to get her out of the game here. Out of bounds play, nicely executed as Amber Bacon slashed in uncontested. Got a quick pass and a layup there. That's too easy. 24-16, Tigers lead down to single digits. Tigers have led all the way here in this one. Kelly Kaiser having trouble with the basketball. Gets it over to Higgins. She'll drive the lane, put up a floater with traffic. No good. Valerie came down and Lands on that right ankle and comes up grimacing here. Tigers will inbound it. Halen Rondala swings it in. Kelly Kaiser gets it up top, goes to the rack, flips up a shot, no good, but is hammered by one of the Mustangs. 
I believe it was three, yeah, they're gonna say it's Amber Bacon on the reach in there. Bacon picks up the first personal foul, second team foul. We'll check that, the third team foul of the quarter on SMU. Tigers have one team foul. 6.22 remain in the second quarter. Kaiser will get a couple of free throws here in the act of shooting. She'll make the first free throw. She has yet to miss a free throw this year. Second free throw also good. So Kaiser, the redshirt senior out of Broomfield, Colorado, and the Colorado State transfer. Her and Sophie Trigginson redshirted last year, coming from Colorado State to play their final year of eligibility here at Stockton with the Tigers. So the two points off the free throw line get the lead back up to double figures. It's 26-16. SMU has vacant floater in the key. No good. Almost went. Just rolled off the rim. Ball loose on the floor. And uh, SMU gets the timeout call as uh, Bree Tolley was down there fighting for the loose ball with a couple of Tigers. And somehow Ollie must have had control. She gets the 30-second timeout. Six minutes exactly left here in the second period. The uh, game that preceded this one uh, saw Cal State Northridge defeat Indiana State. So Cal State Northridge ends up in the third place of the uh, tournament here. Indiana State will go home and the fourth place uh, trophy is the Sycamores drop a pair here in Stockton over the two days. SMU has outscored the Tigers here in the second quarter, 8-5 to five after Pacific had a 21-8 to eight run in the opening quarter. So it's 26-16 Pacific. The Tigers have eight points from Valerie Higgins. Six points by Trigginson. And Sophie is two for four from the field, two for three from beyond the arc. Callie Kaiser has four points. Rondala and McDavid with three points apiece. Tillman has a couple of points. For SMU, they're led by six points by Amber Bacon. And then five other players have two points apiece. SMU shooting six of 18 now from the floor, so that shooting percentage up to 33%. Tigers 10 of 20, right at 50% in the ball game. Tigers are three of seven from the uh, three-point line. SMU has yet to attempt a three-point shot. As I mentioned, they don't really look for the three-point shot in their offense. Ball's going to come way up top off the out-of-bounds play. Oh, Tigers almost got a five-second call there. But SMU has possession in the half-court set. Tigers man-to-man -man pressure. The ball comes to Whitfield up top. Ariana Whitfield looks into the low post. Tigers are double team. Not a good decision there. Higgins gets uh, the steal. Steps in front of the inbound, uh, the low post player. Flips up a shot in transition. No good. Off the weak side. There's Brooklyn McDavid to clean it up and in. McDavid with a nice putback off the Higgins miss. Valerie sagged in on that low post playing defense. Tigers had both front side and back side defense there. Higgins got the steal on the front side. Took it up the court, flipped up a shot in the lane in traffic, missed it, but McDavid was there to clean it up. Now inside, Paige Bayless, the 6'5 sophomore, gets a, a nice entry pass and turns and scores from point blank range. McDavid, with two fouls, was no contest there in that matchup at that time. They're inside of five minutes, second quarter. Tigers up by 10, 28 18. They've led the whole way. Rondala with a right hand dribble. Bounce pass to Blakesley. She'll fire from three and get it in the right corner. Jessica Blakesley, who came alive yesterday, got that shot going. And here today, she fires it up and in. Gets her first points of the ball game. Well, let's check that. She uh, has, uh, yes, yeah, she has her first points of the ball game with that one. Scoreboard slow to change on the uh, auxiliary board here. Here's a floater off the uh, baseline drive by Amber Bacon. The shot misses, putback misses, and now an over-the-back foul on SMU. I believe it's Tolly who aggressively is going for the boards. Trigginson comes back in for Pacific. 
Callie Kaiser is nursing a sore back. We'll check out. Some nice minutes there from Kaiser. Yesterday she didn't look quite right in the, the little time she played, but today she looks much more active. Tigers up by 13 off the Blakesley triple. Richardson off the right wing. Up top to Blakesley. Has a wide open look at a three. Got another one! Jessica Blakesley, assisted by Trigginson, was wide open. Just left of top of the key, and she drained nothing but bottom of the net. Blakesley with back-to-back -back triples. The Tigers up by 16 here, 34-18. Higgins trying to front the low post of Colley, and now Bayless has it up top for the Mustangs. They swing it over to Amber Bacon. They're going to try the other side. Now they come back right side for a Whitfield three. Back iron, no good. Rebound loose on the floor. Blakesley fights three Mustangs for the basketball. Terrific defensive board there. Up the court to McDavid. Puts up the shot. She's hammered by Paige Bayless of the Mustangs. The shot was short, but she really got hammered. Brooklyn McDavid's going to get a couple of free throws for her efforts there. Nice up the court pass to uh, Brooklyn McDavid by Blakesley, who fought off three Mustangs going for that defensive board, secured the rebounds with her tough physical box out there. Then saw McDavid up the court. Got the ball to her, but Bay Bayless hustled back and hammered McDavid. Otherwise, it would have been an easy two. So Brooklyn will have to earn him from the 15-foot line. She's got both free throws this time. Well, McDavid's got eight points all of a sudden. And the Tigers have doubled up on SMU here, 36-18, with 3.20 left in the second quarter. Out on the left wing working is Jakia White. Now up top to Tolly. Right side to Bacon, back over to the left side. The ball squirts out of the hands of the Mustangs and over to Jessica, Jessica Blakesley. Tigers have yet another turnover on the Mustangs. Kaylin Rondawa, spin dribble, puts up a shot that's deflected, goes out to the left wing for Brooklyn McDavid. Missed the shot, offensive rebound by Higgins, and she's fouled on the putback attempt. And uh, she falls out of bounds off the baseline side in SMU. Bodied up and fouled Higgins off the offensive rebound off the missed shot there on the left wing by McDavid. So Higgins will get to the line. First free throw, rims out. It circled completely around the rim and spun out. Higgins at 59% from the line coming into play today. Misses both free throws, the second one too strong. Last year, Higgins shot 79% from the line. And she's struggling early from the free throw line. McDavid with great defense with the second effort by Bree Tolley is going to bring a whistle in the third personal foul on Brooklyn McDavid. So the Tigers gambled, keeping McDavid in the ballgame. She's going to pick up her third foul with 2.43 left here in the half. And we'll get... Uh, Savannah Whitehead into the ball game, the 6'2 sophomore, red shirt from Springville, Utah. Tolly at the line. First free throw gets and settles in. It almost tried to pop out, but settled through. Tolly with her first points of the ball game, as active as she's been, that's hard to believe. Second free throw, back iron, no good. 76 percenter, gets one of two. Tigers lead by 17 here, 36-19. Randall swings it left side to Trigginson. SMU in that 2-3 zone. They're following the ball rapidly wherever it goes. Blakesley now off the right wing. Gets it in the left base, uh, right baseline to Higgins. Back to Blakesley on the wing. He picks up the left-hand dribble and a forearm by Bradley on the backside of Blakesley. Brings the whistle and the foul call. SMU is in the penalty. That'll get Jess Blakesley to the line for Pacific. The senior, six points in the ball game. A very good free throw shooter, as one would suspect. She's got the first. Blakesley at 100% on the year from the charity stripe. Second one pops out. Front rim, back rim, and it popped out. So 37-19. I think Tigers wanted to Throw some pressure off a of made free throw there. Bradley Davis exalts, heads back to the bench. He was disappointed that second one didn't go down. I think they had something planned there. 
in the backcourt. Higgins out on the perimeter, almost got the steal. She poked it away and then couldn't save it from going out of bounds on the far sideline. The active hands, there were active hands of the defensive player of the year from the West Coast Conference last year, Valerie Higgins of the Pacific Tigers. Two minutes to go. There's 12 seconds on the shot clock. SMU now just crossing the half court line off the out of bounds play. Six seconds on the shot clock. I don't think they have any idea of where the shot clock is. Now they hoist up a desperation 18 footer that goes out of bounds off the missed shot on the perimeter out there by Kayla White. She missed it a little bit too strong and then it was tapped out of bounds by a teammate. Tiger basketball, wooden 40 to go, second quarter. Trigginson off the left wing, is double teamed there. She goes cross court to Blakesley. Now they find Rondawa wide open on the right corner. She picks up the dribble and decides to attack the basket and travels after contact is made. So Rondawa travels, it's a turnover on Pacific. Fifth Tiger turnover. Bradley off the right wing for SMU. Looking into the low post, it's not there. They come up top to Bayless on the right wing. Savannah Whitehead pokes it away for the moment. Ten seconds on the shot clock, and the Tigers now picking up the defensive intensity. Poke it away again, and it goes out of bounds off the far sideline directly across from us here. A minute 12 remain. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Working off the sideline is Jatia White. Tries to bring it in. Higgins pokes it away, but it goes right to White, who inbounded it. Now a right wing feed to Bradley. Right hand dribble drive. Shot blocked. Second putback is no good by White. Ball is loose on the floor. Whitehead has it. Bayless tried to strip it away. Couldn't do so. Here comes Trigginson with a left hand dribble. Gets it up court to Higgins. Spin move off the glass and scores. Pretty move by Valerie Higgins there. As she spun back from the baseline side to the key. And uh, with the right hand, banked it in. Higgins having a nice ball game here again this afternoon. Had a terrific game yesterday all the way around. Ten points for the Tigers junior from Granada Hills here in the first half. We've got a whistle. going to be a foul on Whitehead. Being too physical with somebody as Bradley Davis up blocking my view. But Whitehead picks up. The personal foul. It's her second personal. 32 seconds remaining. Cassidy Johnson's going to check in here. Whitehead will get a breather as she's got two fouls. Brooklyn McDavid on the bench with three fouls. And the six foot five redshirt sophomore from Lehigh, Utah, Cassidy Johnson, checks into the ball game. Playing three minutes a game so far for the Tigers. She's going to front Bayless. Now Bayless comes up top, sets a pick. They go low post off the left block to Cash. Shot blocked by Higgins. He deflects out to one of the Mustangs who puts it back up and in. Reagan Bradley got the block shot by Higgins. And the Tigers have 16 seconds to get the last shot of the second quarter here. 39-21, 18-point advantage for Pacific. Higgins dribble drive, crashes into one of the Mustangs, goes down hard in the key. And it's a foul on SMU, a blocking foul on Kayla White there. Second personal on Kayla White. Higgins will get to the line for a pair with 3.8 seconds remaining. SMU will have time to get the ball up the court and maybe get a shot off. Higgins misses the free throws. It spun out. It was halfway down and popped out. Second free throw cleanly through the net. Ball's going to come to half court for Kayla White. Two on one developing, and Higgins poked it away out of bounds from behind. Still one and a half seconds remaining on the clock. So SMU will inbound it to the right of their basket on the baseline. Cassidy Johnson will contest it, all six foot five of her making it difficult to get the ball inbound. But Higgins is going to get a steal and hoist it up from half court. And uh, this is wide right and a little short. And the horn sounds ending the second quarter from the uh, Spano Center here in Stockton. We're on the beautiful campus at the University of the Pacific. The Tigers go into halftime with a 19-point advantage. It's Pacific 40, 
SMU 21. We'll take the break and be back with some first half numbers for you right here along the PacificTigers.com. When you attend the Jose Hernandez Reach for the Stars Academy, you can count on a pretty special guest speaker during the four weeks of classes and activities, and that's former astronaut Jose Hernandez. Perseverance is you never, ever, ever, ever give up on you. Never give up. As a boy watching astronauts reach the moon, Jose told his parents that's what he wanted to do. As an adult, he began the academy for kids with the same passion for learning. In my case, I just needed a, um, a medium from which to sort of grow, and, uh, and we're providing that medium for these kids because you know, at my age, when I was a kid, we lacked it. And so you sort of had to do it on your own and had to be very self-initiated. The activities, like putting a marble through a roller coaster of insulation and tape, are meant to be fun. Some of you have disconnected roller coasters, which is great. But there's a lot of learning going on here as well. For this section, we're learning physics. It, for physics, it's stuff like acceleration, and you have to have the right momentum. Our curriculum is uh, a college curriculum, so they cover physics, logic, 40 to 21. Pacific outscored SMU 21 to 8 in the first quarter. Outscored the Mustangs 19 13 in that second quarter. So it's 40 to 21. Pacific shot 40, excuse me, 14 of 26 officially from the floor. That's 53.8%. Five of nine from beyond the arc, and that's 55 and a half percent. So terrific shooting by Pacific. And uh, except at the free throw line, Tigers only 7 of 14 in that first half. SMU was 8 of 26 from the field. That's 31%. Did not attempt a three-point shot. And then uh, yeah, the Mustangs were 5 of 6 at the free throw line. 83%. Individually for the Mustangs, uh, take a look at their scoring before we get to the Tigers. Six points for Amber Bacon leads the way. She was three of eight from the floor. Four points for Paige Bayless who was one of two shooting from the field. And then two points each for Ganesha Cash, Reagan Bradley, Jaquia White, Kayla White, and Ariana Whitfield. One point for Bree Tolley. For Pacific, they're led in scoring by the 11 points of Valerie Higgins. Higgins officially 5 of 9 from the field. Valerie 0 for 1 from distance and only 1 of 4 at the free throw line. Higgins had 3 rebounds in that first half, 3 assists, and was credited with 2 steals. She had a number of pokeaways as well uh, right there at the end of the first half. She got another one. I'm not sure if 2 steals is correct. She from my recollection, had three or four right off the top of my head. In any case, Higgins with 11 points and uh, three rebounds, three assists, and two steals in that first half for the Tigers. Seven points for Jessica Blakesley. Jess was a perfect two of two from the floor. All Both shots were from beyond the arc. Blakesley one of two at the line. McDavid had seven points for Pacific. Remember, she leads the Tigers in scoring with 23 points a game. In fact, McDavid has scored 19 points in each of the last three ball games. She's two of three from the floor, three of four at the line, has five rebounds to lead the Tigers in the rebounding category in that first 20 minutes. McDavid on the bench, though, with the three personal fouls to close out that second quarter. Four points for Callie Kaiser. 
Callie was one of two officially from the field, two of two from the free throw line for her four. Six points for Sophie Trigginson. Sophie was two of four from the field, two of three from beyond the uh, arc there. Had three rebounds as well and three steals. And played 15 minutes in that first half. So Trigginson had a very nice first half as well. She did not pick up a personal foul in that first 20 minutes. Three points for Kaylin Rondala. Kaylin was one of five from the field, one of two from distance. Had a couple of rebounds, one assist. She turned it over twice in her 13 and a half minutes of action in that first half. And then two points for Liana Tillman on a perfect one of one shooting. Tilly had one assist, one steal, one turnover in her six and a half minutes in that first half. Sally Kaiser had four points, if I failed to mention that, one of two from the full, uh, floor and two of two at the line. Kaiser had a couple of boards as well. The rebounding numbers favored Pacific, 18-14. So the Coach Davis will be pretty happy about that as uh, the rebounding battle was a big concern talking to him before the ball game. SMU has five offensive boards of their 14, and that led to only two second chance points. So the Tigers doing a nice job there uh, making sure they didn't uh, make those offensive boards they gave up uh, hurt them. Only two points off of five offensive boards for the Mustangs. Conversely, the Tigers' 18 boards, five of which uh, were offensive boards, and the Tigers converted those into six points in the first half. As I mentioned, McDavid had five rebounds to lead the Tigers. Bree Tolley had four boards to lead the Mustangs. Bayless had three rebounds for the Mustangs. Turnover numbers. The Tigers actually had six turnovers. SMU had ten turnovers. The Mustangs' ten turnovers cost them ten points as the Tigers made them pay for each turnover they uh, committed by earning one point, if you will. The Tigers' six turnovers led to eight points for SMU. So SMU really made the Tigers pay for those six turnovers. Fast break points favor SMU four to three in that first half. And then the bench points favor SMU as well, eight to six through the first half. Tigers credited, well, both teams credited with one block shot. Tigers had eight steals uh, in the first 20 minutes. SMU had four steals. So it's 40 to 21. The Tigers have never trailed in this ball game. They got off to a quick three nothing lead and uh, never looked back in that first half. It's 40 to 21 Pacific at the intermission. The 19-point halftime lead is the Tigers' largest halftime lead since the season opener against University of Missouri, Kansas City. Of course, last night they led by 14 at halftime against Indiana State. It was 40 to 26 last night at halftime against Indiana State. Tonight it's 40 to 21, so a 19-point lead at halftime. Tiger fans, the, uh, stay tuned after the ball game. We'll name the City of Stockton Human Resources hardworking player of the game. City of Stockton encourages you to visit their website and check out their exciting career opportunities. They offer competitive salaries and terrific benefits. Join the roar this season by securing your season tickets. Head coach Bradley Davis has the Tigers primed for a thrilling season. At 4-1 now, looking to go 5-1 this afternoon. A flexible exchange policy, discounted rate, now is the best time to lock in your seats for the year. Women's basketball season tickets start at just $60 per seat that are now on sale. Head online to PacificTigers.com to secure your seat today. The Lincoln Center is Stockton's premier shopping and dining destination. Enjoy boutique shopping award-winning restaurants and a family-friendly atmosphere. Personal service always in style at the Lincoln Center, conveniently located at Pacific Avenue and Benjamin Holt. 
And fans, mark your calendars coming up in one week, December 7th and 8th. The University of the Pacific will host the Men's Water Polo NCAA Tournament. Limited all-session passes still available. Visit PacificTigers.com to secure your seat today. Forty to twenty-one, Tigers up by nineteen. About four and a half minutes away from uh, resuming the second half, we'll take the short break and be back with more Tiger basketball for you after these messages along the PacificTigers.com. Communication skills are key not only because I'm a communication major, but even our students who are not communication majors, they learn a lot. If you had an interest in politics or maybe uh, being some type of sports manager or something along those lines, communication can lead you to do those types of things. The professors here in the communication department really inspired me. I love this communication major. I was so glad that I did. I'm on the speech and debate team and I'm a communication major. Being on the speech and debate team also gave me like a lot of opportunities outside of, uh, you know, outside of just scholarship opportunities like traveling and networking. We did really well this semester. We won almost every single tournament we went to. A lot of what I do here at Pacific is help with the radio department. I help broadcast some of the games as well as host my own show. I just get to be a part of something that I've never thought I would do. The class I'm taking right now, writing for media, we've got some script writing. It's been a pretty interesting process, actually one of my favorites. I just did a social media project um, for my classes, so I learned how to use each of the platforms and what type of language you're supposed to use on all of them. I joined the speech and debate team and found out this whole world of communication that was everything I'd enjoyed. Research, looking up concepts, understanding people, and I was like, this is perfect. Everything we do is communication, from nonverbal communication to intended messages, to the things we wear. Communication is the essence of everything. When you walk throughout campus, like it's almost one of those campuses where everybody kind of smiles at each other. It's just welcoming. Everybody's so welcoming. I feel like I'm coming home. One of the big strengths of Pacific is the small class sizes. I feel like I know all of my professors and that they know me. I hear stories all the time from people at the big brand. Right, Don Gubbins back live in Stockton. There was more from the home of the I really Pacific like the environment, but I thought that Pacific from like the first back day out on the court for a minute and a half really away from like resuming action. I, I mentioned it's family. The SMU and Mustangs that came into play today. I can hardly wait to. Get up Three in wins the morning, and two get losses. In my car, the Tigers at come over here and, and then see my friends, my SMU colleagues, and the students. American Athletic. They become family to me. The students know that we Conference. care, that they matter in the classroom, and we that, know each uh, of them by name. We realize that our first responsibility is for our students, and we have always taken that University of Connecticut. Very seriously. So you our know, first responsibility is teaching our second Besides responsibility. Is University of Connecticut. You've got Tulsa, Wichita State. East Carolina, Temple, Tulane, Central Florida, Cincinnati, and uh, Memphis and South Florida all in that conference. So good basketball in the American Athletic Conference. SMU in the coaches poll was picked to finish last as they rebuild to a large extent after losing their two top scorers from last year. 
SMU without a senior on this squad. Coached by Travis Mays. Mays is the long tenured basketball coach. Former NBA player. First round pick of the Sacramento Kings back in 1986. Played for the Kings for four years. And uh, went on to coach at his alma mater. Uh, well, he was an assistant coach at the University of Texas, his alma mater. And been to the University of Texas a couple of times in his coaching career. And now in his fourth year as head coach here of the SMU Mustangs. Second half underway. Bradley will get the ball into the high post to John Asia Cash. Picks up the dribble, goes hard at Brooklyn McDavid. It's like great defense. They went after Brooklyn, who's got three fouls, and Brooklyn gave a little bit of ground there, made Cash miss the shot, but play good defense. Tigers have it. The starter's back out there as Brooklyn McDavid turn around baseline, 15-footer rims out. Cash goes high to the bull, uh, air to get the rebound. Bradley brings the dribble up with the left hand. Now the right hand switch over. Picked up there by Rondawa in the half court. Ball goes into the low baseline to White. Works against McDavid. Plays good defense, forces a turnover. Great defense by McDavid with a three foul. She was all over. Three Colley there made the, uh, forced the turnover on the Mustangs. And now the Tigers have a deflection bringing the ball up by SMU. So Tigers basketball, saw far sideline. 40 to 21. Tigers up by 19 as we begin the second half. There's a backdoor cut by Higgins. The ball poked away at the last moment by the Mustangs. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Sigurdsson will bring the ball in for Pacific. To the right of the basket. They come way up top to Rondala. She works one-on-one -on -one there. Now it's poked away out of bounds by the smaller, quicker Amber Bacon. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Tigers from the far sideline. Higgins looks for a teammate. Comes to Brooklyn McDavid up top. She hands off to Rendala. Right wing feed to Trigginson. Works gets Bradley on the man-to-man -man pressure. Now a switch out. Cross court pass for Blakesley who fires it in from three on the left wing. Blakesley got a beautiful pass with the left hand there by Trigginson. And uh, spotted up was wide open off that left wing. Blakesley's got Three triples in this ball game and now has 10 points into the low post. They're working hard to get the ball into Cash, working against McDavid, who's got the three fouls. Brooklyn makes her miss the shot, but an offensive rebound. Put back no good off the glass. It now spins out of bounds off of SMU. Great effort on the offensive glass there by John Asia. Cash, who missed the shot, got two offensive rebounds back to back, but never really got control of the ball solidly. And Lost it out of bounds, so Tiger basketball. Liana Tillman's going to come in. Rondala will check out. Tigers run a play set out on the perimeter. Trigginson has it on the right wing. Man-to-man -man pressure for SMU. They played quite a bit of zone in that first half. Trigginson to the free throw line. Now right wing feed to Higgins. Picks up the left-hand dribble. Kick out pass to Sophie. Stutter step. Dukes the defender, fadeaway 17-footer, tough shot. Great defense there by SMU. Shot is missed, Cash with a rebound. Outlet pass to Reagan Bradley. Brings the dribble up court, looks into the low post. They're just feeding it in there to every possession right now. And the Tigers play some great interior defense yet again. Colley misses the shot. As the Tigers really playing physical inside without picking up a foul, that's the key point there. McDavid. Playing with three fouls here early in the third quarter. Trigginson gets the pick from McDavid. She's trying to post up on the right block. Hilly with a no-look entry pass into Brooklyn. Now she's double-teamed and tied up. Jump ball called. A no-look. High wrist pass by Tillman. Found McDavid right underneath the basket on the baseline. Brooklyn tried to work her way back to get an angle to take a shot attempt off and was tied up. Now she's going to come out and get a breather. Savannah Whitehead will check in for her. Ball comes on top to Higgins. Fake left, go right. Kick out pass for a Trigginson three ball. Got it! Just inside the shot clock buzzer. Great awareness by both Higgins and Trigginson there. Higgins knowing she had just enough time for one quick pass. Trigginson 
to go straight up with that shot and drain it. Beautiful execution by Pacific. 46-21, the Tigers have opened it up to a 25-point advantage. Tigers on a 6-0 run here to open up the third quarter. Higgins goes all the way coast to coast after SMU turns it over yet again in the half court. And it's knocked out of bounds at the last minute by the Mustang. So Sophie Sigurdsson will hustle back over to the baseline to the left of the basket to inbound this one. 25 seconds on the shot clock. 6.45 in the third quarter remains. Sigurdsson up top. Now step back three. Got it! That is impossible to, to defend. The def Mustang player was right there, Sophie, to create space, took a quick back step and launched from about three feet behind the arc and drained it. Beautiful shot by Trigginson. Long distance three by SMU, no good. Tilly in the transition. Kick out for another Trigginson. Fire from three off the left wing. It's a little short, no good. And Brad uh, Beacon took that bacon out of the uh, pack with the basketball on the rebound. Higgins now intercepts a low post pass. Turnover yet again on the Mustang. Turnover mounting for Travis May's squad. Beautiful bounce pass from Blakesley to Higgins, who goes down with the contact. She scores. The bucket counts. It'll be an and one for Valerie Higgins. There's a classic three on two fast break. Blakesley leading the way, stopped at the free throw line like you're taught to do, and made a quick right hand bounce pass to a cutting. Higgins, who angled in at the 90-degree angle from the free throw line to take that perfectly timed bounce pass by Blakeslake, and then Higgins converted the layup and drew the contact and the foul call. Higgins now can get the three-point play here. He does so. Higgins now with 14 points in the ball game. Beautiful assist by Blakesley. She's had a couple of those today. Tigers up by 31 all of a sudden. Tigers have outscored SMU 12 zip here in the third quarter. Cash goes hard in off the left uh, side there and scores against Higgins. Nice move by Cash inside. Here's Trickinson wide open off the right wing. No good. Callie Kaiser has checked in, gets an offensive rebound. Over to Sophie. Left corner feed to Kaiser. Up top to Tilly. She drives the lane, floats it up over Bayless. No good, a little bit short, ball poked out of bounds. No, it's not. It's hustled down there by the SMU Mustangs, Reagan Bradley. Good hustle by Tilly. She almost got there to get that ball, but Bradley just beat her to it. So SMU goes up top, Cash for a 17-footer, no good. Higgins with a rebound. Comes out of the pack with a left-hand dribble. Goes cross-court to Tillman in transition. Tilly's gonna fire a three, it was halfway down and popped out. Tillman, who's shooting 31% this year from beyond the arc, and that one just rattle out. Tough break for her and the Tigers. But now a baseline drive and a foul on Pacific. It's gonna be free throws for one of the Mustangs. Tillman's gonna pick up the personal foul, and that'll lead us to the media timeout. 4.49 remain, third quarter. The Tigers on a big time run. It's 12 to three here in the third quarter. After a 19-point lead, the Tigers have built it to a 29-point advantage with 4.49 remaining third quarter. We'll take the break along the Pacific Tigers radio network. Don Govins, welcome you back. 
to the Spano Center where it's been all Pacific Tigers here this afternoon against the SMU Mustangs. After this one today, the Tigers back in action on Thursday down at UC Santa Barbara. The Tigers and Gauchos tip off at 7 o'clock this Thursday. 7 o'clock tip. We'll be on the air with a pregame show at 6.45. Hope you can join us for that along the PacificTigers.com. At the free throw line is Desiree Mathis, who's checked in just a couple of minutes ago. Gets one out of two. Gets one out of two there at the free throw line. Whitehead wide open on the right wing from Tillman. Drives baseline, cut off. Tiger circle it up top. Now they swing it on the left side to Kaiser. Holds the ball over her head. Back on top to Trigetson. Going to get a pick from Whitehead. Somewhat uses it, has the ball poked away by Cash. Kaiser tracks it down. They try and go into Whitehead inside. As she was bumped from behind there by Amber Bacon and then lost possession out of bounds. A little bit of contact. In a close game, that one would have been called, but in a 30, 28 point ball game, they're not going to call that one. So the Tigers turn it over for the seventh. Only the seventh time in the ballgame. That's the first turnover here in the quarter. SMU with 13 turnovers in the ballgame. The Tigers have made a pay by converting those into 19 points. Cassidy Johnson's in for Pacific. Whitehead's going to check out. Josephine Miard comes in. So it's Cassidy Johnson, Miard, Callie Kaiser. Tillman and Sophie Trigginson. Out of bounds play comes in for a left hand hook shot inside by Cash. Misses it. A good defense by the Tigers. Pacific gets the rebound off the missed shot. SMU shooting 25.5% for the ball game. Tillman drives on the right sideline, misses the shot as SMU clears the rebound. Up they come. Contact inside. That's an offensive foul. Nice defense by Miard. That's a charging foul on Reagan Bradley. The freshman from Arkansas picks up the personal foul. That is her third personal she becomes the first Mustang to be in some foul danger here. That's for the trailing by 28. They will leave her in the ball game. Ball deflects over to Kaiser right in front of us. Court side on the right wing. Callie looking into the low post to Johnson. Kick out for a Miard 15 footer. Back iron, no good. Ball tipped out of bounds off the rebound attempt by the Mustang. Tiger basketball. Beautiful pass from Cassidy Johnson as she got the ball in the low post. Kicked it out to Miard who was open at the free throw line. Just missed the shot. Here's Callie Kaiser turnaround three-pointer at the top of the circle. No good. Miard crashes into one of the Mustangs and draws. What do they call here? They signal 33. There's no 33 out there. Miard who tripped when crashing into the SMU player and picks up the personal foul. The referee, for some reason, signaled 33. That was Erica Parker, the official. There's no 33 for the Tigers that's out there at the moment. Mad Madeline uh, Ennis, of course, is wears 33, but she's on the bench. They got it straightened out. Miard's first personal foul. Mathis up top with the basketball, works against Trigginson. They go into the left block to Cash. Uses her lower body well to clear out the Pacific defender and then scores off the window from the left side. Cash with the bucket in transition. Tigers get a quick shot there by Kaiser inside. A beautiful pass by Tillman, but the Tigers don't convert. And with 2.15 left, third quarter, the Tigers who have doubled up on SMU at 52 to 26. Bradley frees up at the free throw line. Now a bounce pass inside, beautifully done. And converted by Paige Bayless, the 6'5 center. Bayless with six points in the ball game. Got a beautiful assist there. Working the high-low action are the Mustangs on that possession. 
Tilly had a three-point shot, bypasses it, goes into the lane, slopes up a tougher shot against the bigger Mathis, missed the shot. Ty Callie Kaiser of the Tigers gets an offensive board. They'll look for it again. Comes in, but tries to get the ball into Cassidy Johnson, but Bacon on the front side intercepts and gets the steal for SMU. Goes to the rack for the bucket. Count it, and it's a foul on the Tigers as well. And an and one opportunity for the SMU Mustang. Amber Bacon. Cassidy Johnson got popped in the mouth, and he's going to come out. Miard will come out. Kaiser will come out. Just like that, the Tigers get McDavid and Blakesley back into the ball game with Valerie Higgins as well as SMU on a little run here. Bradley Davis probably more than anything just sending a message to the bench players to kind of have to execute a little bit better if they want to stay out there even if it's uh, garbage time here late in the third quarter. In the era of the three-point shot, a 21-point lead is not invincible. Beautiful move, uh, beautiful pass off the left wing into Brooklyn McDavid who scores off the left block. Nice entry pass there to McDavid. She scores in Brooklyn now. I believe has 11 points. She waits for the scoreboard to change. Here's Bayless, perimeter jumper off the left angle. No good. Blakesley with a rebound. Up comes Sigurdsson off the left sideline. Cross court to Tillman. The Tigers swing it back to Sigurdsson up top. Man to man pressure by SMU. Left wing to pass to Higgins, who goes to the rack, crashes into a defender and banks it in. Beautiful concentration by Higgins as she anticipated that defensive collapse and pressure. Knew she was going to draw the contact, but kept her eyes on that backboard beautifully and banked it in from about 12 feet away. Nice shot by Valerie. 15 points for the junior. Uh, Brooklyn McDavid with a silly foul on the perimeter after all that. Great defensive pressure inside this entire quarter. She gets out on the perimeter and commits a silly hand check foul to pick up her fourth personal foul. Shot clock, game clock, just about even here. Literally about a half second differential. Traveling violation on SMU in the half court. That'll give the Tigers an opportunity for the last shot of the third quarter. Tigers have outscored SMU 16 to 10 thus far in the third quarter. Tillman gets a whitehead pick up top, then three players collapse on her and a jump ball call. Tilly held onto the ball way too long there. She had a player on the right wing open, but for some reason, Liana dribbled into the triple team defense, and that cost the Tigers a possession shot there. And uh, now we have the horn as SMU throws up a Hail Mary, and it doesn't go. After three quarters from the Spano Center in Stockton, the Pacific Tigers 56, the SMU Mustangs 31. We'll take the short break and be back for the fourth quarter for you in just a moment along the Pacific Tigers.com. I've always wanted to come here since I was little. And I remember I would ask Biker when I was younger, we would come and take pictures or come for tours when I was like in middle school. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. I, I was just in shock by the buildings themselves and the history of UOP and, and the people within it. It was just a beautiful place that I dreamt of, I thought maybe one day if I work really, really hard and I'm good, I'm truly good at what I do and I'd be able to fit in and I'm here and I love it. Hi, my name is Lila Valencia and I'm a fine arts major here at UOP and this is my art studio.
Back to live action, Tigers have first possession, get an Izzy Newman three-point attempt that's a little short. SMU with a rebound, they come up the court and then uh, get a traveling violation. So back, ball back to Pacific. Fourth quarter underway, 56-31. Tigers enjoying a 25-point lead on the home court in the championship game of the Tigers Turkey tip-off. Here's a Blakesley three off the right angle. Jessica Blakesley that time with a quick release. Didn't even have her shoulders square there, but went right up against the defender and knocks home the triple. Blakesley with her fourth three of the game. She's had a heck of a tournament, 13 points for the Tigers senior. Bayless is bumped as she converts inside. Newman, a last minute defensive swat at it, but bumped her as well. But Bayless at 6'5", easily converted inside. She's got eight points for the Mustangs. Izzy Newman's out there with Whitehead uh, Higgins. Not sure why Valerie's still out there. Here's a beautiful dish to Whitehead who drives and scores with a flip shot in the middle of the key. Higgins with the assist. Whitehead with her first bucket of the ball game. Let's check that. It is uh, Savannah's first points of the game. 61-33. Tigers up by 28. Cash inside. Works against Higgins. Off the window, no good. Rebound loose off of Valerie, out of bounds. It's SMU basketball. Zakia White will come in for Amber Bacon. Holly out there with Bayless as well. Here's a drive to the basket. Higgins blocks the shot. One of the SMU players got it back, and then Whitehead hammered her inside. Personal foul on Savannah. Third foul on Savannah. Whitehead of Pacific. To the line is Tolly. Bree Tolly, the sophomore out of Bartow, Florida. This is the first free throw. Tolly on the air, I said, is leading SMU in scoring 13.2 points a ball game. Tigers have done a nice job containing her today. She now has two points in the ball game after making one of two free throws. Higgins at the right elbow, looks to make a move, kick out pass for a Blakesley three and got it again. Right corner this time in front of the Tigers bench and Blakesley continues to shoot terrifically. That time from the right corner and uh, Jessica, in this basketball game, has not missed a shot. She is uh, five of five from downtown. The only thing she's missed today is a free throw. 16 points for Blakely. She leads the Tigers now in scoring. Higgins has 15. Air ball off a left side jumper by the Mustangs. Blakely comes out of the pack. Up the court to Isabel Newman on the right side. Looks to circle back into the middle of the key. Her kick out pass to Tillman is blocked and intercepted by Mathis. He's going to try to go coast to coast and does so with a right hand layup. Inside of seven minutes to go. Whitehead has the ball on the corner. Now they swing it on top to Tillman. SMU in the man to man. They played. Quite a bit of zone in that first half. That didn't seem to work so well. So they've gone man-to-man -man almost exclusively here in the second half. Newman gets a kick-out pass back to Savannah Whitehead. Pull up from 15 feet on the right baseline. The shot misses off the front iron. And clearing out the rebound is Whitfield for SMU. Low post entry pass hits the foot of Tolly. That's a terrible pass into the low block. Beautiful back. Behind the back pass by Tillman, no look style to a cutting Higgins to the rack who scores. How about that assist? Tilly knew Higgins was there and then spun behind her back. The pass, one bounce pass to Higgins who laid it up and in. That's a pretty, pretty play. The Tigers convert. Higgins has 17 now and the Tigers up 66-36. Cassidy Johnson. Brooklyn McDavid come in. Higgins will come out to a nice ovation here from the faithful in the Spano Center. Whitehead will check out as well.
Pass comes in to Whitfield up top. Makes the move on Tillman. Kick out pass for a three attempt on the right wing. That doesn't go. Put back is good by Cash. It, oh, it was, uh, check that. Uh, double check. Who is that? Uh, Shamanga is in there. Florence Shamanga, 6'3", junior center out of Montreal. With a put back. Here's McDavid working inside and scoring. Tough shot by McDavid. Had a terrible angle on that. Drew the foul call as well as she turned baseline and drew the double team and floated up a five-footer over the outstretched arm. Now we got a violation here on SMU. Well, it's before the free throw even happened. Brooklyn would have been wise to shoot that free throw because it would have been a violation. She would have got another one had she missed. But she went, went ahead and converted. Early whistle there as a late lane uh, addition there at the last minute before Brooklyn went up. That would have been a violation. Nonetheless, McDavid completes the three-point play. David has 12 points in the ball game now. Here's a steal by Tillman up the top of the key. She's going to go one-on-one -on -one against the Mustang player. Draws the foul on Whitfield. Tilly went up strong. She's not afraid to attack that basket whether she's got numbers or not. That time it was one-on-one -on -one and went hard to the rack and drew the uh, contact and the foul call. So Tilly's going to get a couple of free throws. Blakesley's going to check out. She had herself a whale of a ball game here this afternoon for the Tigers. Tilly misses the uh, first free throw. Blakesley with 16 points. Higgins has 18 to lead all Tigers, but uh, Jessica did not miss a shot from the perimeter. A perfect five of five today. In transition, the Mustangs get a foul call on a dribble penetration. It's going to go on Newman of Pacific and two free throws for Kayla White, the sophomore guard. 50% free throw shooter coming into play today. Has the first one short off the front iron. SMU shooting 33% from the floor in the ball game. The Tigers shooting 50%. They have shot well the entire game. Second free throw, no good, but uh, Brooklyn McDavid is just fouled out here as she tried to defend that. Offensive rebounder, so McDavid's going to foul out with 12 points in the ball game. With 5:01 left to go, Brooklyn will come out and get a nice ovation and a high five from Coach Bradley Davis. Brooklyn fouling out with 12 points, and she had six rebounds in the ball game, I believe it was. 69-38, Pacific up by 31 points here. On the home court. Dribble penetration, left-hand floater, no good. Cash with a rebound, put back and in for SMU. John Asia Cash, she is a handful inside, especially on that offensive glass. She is relentless. Cash has 10 points in the ball game now. Cassidy Johnson. Tries to get the ball inside, bumps into one of the uh, Mustangs in transition. White throws up a prayer, doesn't get it. No foul call either. Izzy Newman comes out of the pack. Two on two, over to Tillman. Soft floater, tough angle. Cassidy Johnson, put back is in. Off the Tillman miss. Cassidy Johnson there off the weak side, hustling up the court. Got the offensive board and put back. CJ with her first points of the afternoon for her. It's 71-40, four minutes to go in the game. Whitfield, right wing feed now to Jakia White. Behind the back dribble, cut off there by Callie Kaiser. Cash picks up the dribble at the top of the key, picks, puts up a tough shot against the um, yard. Shot no good, ball loose on the floor. We got a whistle and a tie-up. That'll lead us to the media timeout. 
Exactly 45 remain. We'll keep it here as the Tigers up 71-40. And the Tigers are going to get wholesale substitutions in, uh, I believe, once we come out of the break. 71-40. Dickens with 18. Blakesley with 16. McDavid with 12. Trickinson has 12 as well. So four players in double figures for Pacific. Tigers have out-rebounded SMU. Well, let's check it now. SMU has actually uh, got a plus-two advantage on the Tigers on the boards all of a sudden. 32-30, 11 offensive rebounds for SMU. They've only converted those into five second-chance points. Tigers' interior defense has been good, challenging those offensive rebound putbacks. But uh, you can't keep giving those up either. Mustang shooting 32.5% from the floor. The Tigers 49% from the floor in this ball game. But 18 turnovers by the Mustangs has really hurt them today. Tigers continue to force their opposition into lots of turnovers. They, Tigers have averaged their op uh, opponent to turn it over 21 times a game coming into play today. And SMU's at 18 right now with 3.5 to go. Cash makes a reverse layup inside to make it 71-42. Tigers have Miard out there with Sam Ashby, who's checked in. Sally Kaiser, Izzy Newman. Away from the Brown ball, we have a call here by the baseline official. It's going to be on SMU. Holding foul on Jaquia White away from the ball. That's only the third team foul. Madeline Ennis will come in now. She wears 33 for the Tigers. And Miard will come out. Kaiser brings the ball into Ashby up top. Left hand dribble. Now it's tied up by one of the Mustangs as the dribble penetrated. And then Donasia Cash was there to tie it up. So the Mustangs, well, Tiger basketball, so it's not a turnover. 16 seconds on the shot clock. Newman will bring it in. Tigers run a box formation. Sally Kaiser, long three straight away is good. My goodness gracious. That was four feet beyond the arc there. And she just pulled up and drills it. Three pointer by Callie Kaiser makes it 74 42. Tigers are now 11 of 21 from the three point line. Nice shot inside, a turnaround jumper by Wiggle with Cash. He's got a dozen points. To lead the Mustang. Now the ball poked loose from Ennis inside. SMU will bring it up off the Tiger turnover. Two and a half to go. Whitfield brings the right hand dribble up. Works there on the right wing against Ashby. Cash has it at the right elbow. Now it drives against Ennis. Shot is short. Ball loose on the floor. It's picked up by Ennis as Cash fouls Madeline Ennis. That's a fourth team foul. Ennis and Ashby, both freshmen. Ashby from Perth, Australia, 5'9 guard. Madeline Ennis, a 5'11 freshman, uh, forward out of Burlingame. Cassidy Johnson, left-hand shot on the baseline, gets fouled, and a beautiful hook shot, and that brings associate head coach Amy Starr, who works with the post players a lot, off the bench. That was a beautiful move and shot by Cassidy Johnson off that left block. She is a southpaw. That's her favorite spot on the court. She converts the free throw as well. So Cassidy Johnson has a three-point play the old-fashioned way. 
Nicely done by number 12. She's got five points in the ball game. We're inside of two minutes. Out on the wing, Whitfield fires it in from three. That's, I uh, believe, officially the, the uh, first three-point shot attempt in this basketball game by SMU. Cassidy gets it on the left block. Cross-court pass to Callie Kaiser. Soft floater with the right hand, no good. Cassidy Johnson with a rebound, put back, no good. Got a hand in her face on the uh, put back attempt. That disrupted the shot attempt. SMU with the basketball trailing here by 30 points, 77-47. Whitfield, right elbow jumper, back iron, no good. Rebound by Pacific. Cassidy Johnson, outlet pass to Kaiser. No look pass to Ennis inside. Ennis and Ashby both looking for their first points as a Pacific Tiger. Ashby is going to push off the defender as she uh, went to make a move there. It's an offensive foul on Sam Ashby. A minute to go. See if the Tigers can get Ennis or Ashby to score here. That would put a little icing on this one. Pull-up jumper on the right baseline, no good. Offensive rebound attempt by one of the Mustangs, and uh, looks like the Tigers are going to get whistled for a foul. Cassidy Johnson on a reach-in going for that rebound. Tigers in the penalty, so a couple of free throws here now for Zakia White. White with two points in the ballgame looks to add to that total. 83% free throw shooter. She's the best free throw shooter on the Mustang squad percentage-wise and gets the first one to go. Mustangs will return home after this contest and uh, get a game on the home court against Wright State on Friday. Then they've got North Dakota and UTEP all coming in in the next uh, couple of weeks on the home court. Ashby with the basketball. Works there. Tries to free up, can't do so. So the pass goes to Annis on the left baseline. Goes to the rack, puts up a floater off the front iron. No good in traffic. Ashby with a nice pass from Callie Kaiser, and that flexed out of bounds off of Ashby. Callie Kaiser with a beautiful pass, trying to get it to Ashby so she could score. But she was in traffic and lost it out of bounds. So only 18 seconds left in the ballgame now. Cash at the top of the circle. Picks up the dribble, goes with the left hand, dump off pass inside, and the shot is missed. It Rebound goes to uh, Cassidy Johnson. She's tied up. Jump ball and alternate possession to SMU. Eight seconds left. Move inside, and the uh, ball is loose on the floor, and the horn will sound, and this one is over. The Pacific Tigers have won the Tiger Turkey tip-off with a 77-49 win against the SMU Mustangs. And with the win, the Tigers improved to four and check that five and one on the year. And the SMU Mustangs will fall to three and three on the year. And in uh, victory, the Tigers get some terrific balance scoring again here this afternoon. 18 from Higgins, 16 from Blakesley. Trigginson and McDavid with a dozen apiece. So four players in double figures here this afternoon. And the Tigers will uh, go on to uh, beat SMU 77-49 as uh, we will be joined by the head coach courtside here as uh, we will make Valerie Higgins our uh, Stock City of Stockton, Human Resources, hardworking player of the game. And uh, we've got Coach over, and uh, Coach, congratulations, 77-49. You win the Tiger Turkey tip-off. Congratulations on the victory. Uh, hard fought uh, at the outset, pretty physical game. They let you guys play, and, uh, boy, the Tigers just blistered the nets today, shooting uh, nearly 48% from the field in this one. Talk about the victory here. Uh, yeah, it was a good game all around uh, by the entire team. Come in and produce, uh, and they did just that. 
Absolutely, and uh, you mentioned uh, uh, everybody uh, contributing this one uh, in one way or the other. Certainly the offensive output uh, continued with your uh, star four uh, players, um, Higgins and Blakesley, with tremendous ball games here today. Jess did not miss a shot from the field, hitting all five of her three-point shots. She continues to torture the Nets in this tournament, and uh, when you're getting looks like that out on the perimeter, it sure makes life a lot simpler. It does. We, we talked a lot about sharing the ball and making the extra pass and even the extra pass after that uh, with this team. They crowd the, the lane a lot, so we had a feeling we'd get some open looks uh, and knew if we were going to get a, uh, a good outcome here, we'd have to hit some of them. And, and just hit one some of them. Yeah, she did a terrific job. And then uh, the battle, the rebounds, uh, one of your concerns uh, in the ball game was that rebounding. Uh, SMU very active on the offensive yeah. glass. The Tigers had an uh, rebounding advantage most of the game, but gave it up late. Uh, but uh, you have to be impressed with the uh, relentless pressure of that SMU offensive rebounding crew. They're just big and real physical, a physical, strong team. And uh, we'd have to use our length. Our, our, our perimeter players were a little bit longer than they were, so we had to use our length to get in there. Uh, Val did a good job on the boards, but it was a team effort to see pretty much everybody uh, that played the significant minutes had, had a board. Yeah, I mean, uh, the Tigers, even though they gave up 11 offensive rebounds, they really contested those second shots on those offensive rebounds. I mean, SMU really didn't hurt you on the second chance points in uh, spite of 11 offensive boards. They only got five points off of those 11 rebounds uh, with the battling uh, inside there. But uh, just talk about uh, the bench play uh, coming off the bench today. The Tigers had uh, only 10 points off the bench, but a lot of productivity and other facets of the game. Uh, as you mentioned, especially uh, defensively to get uh, some some uh, tough uh, looks at the basket by SMU. No, I, I thought our bench did a good job. And it might not show in the scoring column, but it, it shows in every other one that you're looking at. Uh, they did a great job coming in, bringing the same intensity and same energy so that we can keep running and keep playing at our pace. Uh, it just so happened that a lot of the starters found the ball and found the net, uh, but uh, the whole bench, the whole team did a good job today. You had Brooklyn McDavid uh, with three fouls at halftime. How concerned with you uh, were you and the coaching staff with that aspect of the ball game? Uh, the, the point spread helped with that concern, but uh, at the same time, I probably I should have staked her out a little bit earlier. I let her get that third foul, and that one was on me. All right, yeah, she had the second foul pretty early in that second quarter and then played significant minutes uh, before committing that third foul. And it was rather ironic when she picked up her fourth foul. She played terrific defense in that third quarter. Inside, they were really attacking Brooklyn, trying to get that fourth foul, and she didn't get it until that silly foul out on the well, perimeter or that hand check. Perimeter. Those are tough. You get two hands on a, yeah. on a perimeter player, and, and the hard part about that is a hard call to make. You know, every single time it happens. So a lot of times, post players are the ones who get caught with it because it just looks so different to have them out there. So it was a tough one for her to get. All right, the Tigers' defense continues to really play terrifically. They're forcing their opponents into 21 turnovers coming into play tonight. Got 18 more turnovers on SMU tonight. Just overall, that tenacious defense is really helping uh, not only kickstart the offense at times, but just make it frustrating for the opposition. Yeah, uh, I think our team has found a little bit of enjoyment in, in uh, that defensive intensity of what we can do. And, uh, our length has been, has been a good addition. Uh, but it's just their activity and, and their buying into the game plan and understanding uh, what we can get positive, and, and we thought we could have a positive turnover ratio here. All right, so the Tigers uh, never, uh, like yesterday, they never trailed in this ball game. You led from start to finish, and uh, you went impressively 71-40 uh, in this one, and now uh, the Tigers head out on the road for a couple of games. You got UC Santa Barbara Thursday night. Just a quick thought uh, against the game against the Gauchos uh, uh, down in, uh, down there. They, they look pretty solid this year, much improved from last year. Their, their, their inside play is pretty is pretty good. We're going to have to be ready for that. Uh, they've already got one good, good win over USC and a couple other good wins as well. So uh, it's going to be a tough road trip going there into a team like Bakersfield that runs up and down. Uh, and then we'll stay on the road until next year. <laughs> I, guess I guess you're right about that. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> All right, so uh, the last home game of the year. Good point, Coach. Uh, congratulations on the win. We'll let you go, and we'll see you down in Santa Barbara on Thursday night. Congratulations. Right, Thanks, Don. All right, Bradley Davis joining us courtside after the Tigers win big here on the home court. 71-40 uh, is the uh, final tallies uh, in this one. Just double checking a couple of things here, real quick. Let's check that. It's 77 uh, 49, uh, the final score. 
as I was not holding uh, the final stat sheet, something in my mind was telling me that wasn't right. So let's look at the final numbers. SMU shot 19 of 56 from the floor, 34%. They were one of one at the uh, three-point line and then 10 of 15 at the free throw line in the ball game. They were led by John Asia Cash with a dozen points and then nine points for Amber Bacon. Uh, who did a nice ball game today for SMU. Eight points for Paige Bayless in the post. Five for uh, Ariana Whitfield. And then uh, three points apiece uh, for Desiree Mathis. Two points for Reagan Bradley and two points for Bree Tolley. Tolley played a whale of a game, but uh, very active, but not a lot of numbers to show for it. She had six rebounds in this contest. Cash with double figures had a double double, 12 points and 10 rebounds to lead SMU, and uh, had a, a very solid ball game in this one. The uh, SMU committed 18 turnovers, the Tigers only 12. Individually, for, excuse me, uh, for the Tigers, 28 of 60 in this basketball game. They shoot 46 and a half percent from the floor. That's excellent shooting here this afternoon. 11 of 21 from beyond the arc. Uh, were the Tigers and then only 10 of 19 at the free throw line strangely enough they continue to struggle there at the uh, free throw line Tigers uh, with a big win here today they're defeating teams by an average of 21 points a game is uh, pointed out here courtside the, uh, that's a big time win uh, margin 20.8 points a game and the Tigers off to a terrific 5-1 and one start Individually, Pacific led by Valerie Higgins, 18 points this afternoon. Valerie, 8 of 12 from the floor. Six rebounds, seven assists for our Higgins. And uh, she played 29 minutes in this contest. She is our City of Stockton hardworking player of the game. Congratulations to Valerie Higgins. 18 points and uh, six rebounds, seven assists, and three steals this afternoon in the victory. Jessica Blakesley, 16 points, 5 of 5 from the floor, all from distance, 1 of 2 at the line, 5 rebounds as well for the senior. She had uh, 1 assist and 2 steals and played 26 minutes exactly in this game. 12 points for Sophie Trigginson, 4 of 9 from the floor. That included 4 of 7 from distance. And uh, Trigginson had 4 rebounds as well and 3 assists and 5 steals in this basketball game. So a terrific all-around performance by the Tigers, Sophie Trigginson. Brooklyn McDavid had a dozen points. She is the fourth Tiger in double figures this afternoon. Four of six for Brooklyn McDavid from the floor officially. She continues to shoot a torrid pace. Came at, in at uh, 72% field goal percentage. <coughs> Excuse me. And that was 67% uh, from the floor today with her 12 points. Five rebounds for Brooklyn as well. One block shot. And then after that, it went seven points for Callie Kaiser on two of six shooting. Cassidy Johnson had five points. <coughs> My apologies. Kaylin Rondaro had three points. Tillman had two. Savannah Whitehead had two as well for the Tigers. Rebounding numbers were even at 35 apiece. 12 offensive boards for SMU provided nine second chance points. 10 offensive boards for the Tigers provided eight second chance points. Points in the paint uh, for the ball game were pretty much dead even. 32-30, SMU had a plus two advantage in the painted area of this game. Fast break points pretty much even, 9-8 favoring SMU, and then the bench points slightly favored the Mustangs 20-16. So that's a look at the numbers. The Tigers uh, in victory improved to 5-1. and one. They win the Tiger Turkey tip-off here at the Spano Center. And uh, SMU in defeat drops to 3-3. Three and three. Our thanks to everyone associated with Pacific Athletics. And uh, that includes Michael January uh, with production and his film crew, his camera crew here in the arena. And uh, we thank everybody courtside for their help as well. My name's Don Gubbins. We will talk to you Thursday at 645 from UC Santa Barbara where the ti Tigers take on UC Santa Barbara Gauchos. Once again, the final score here tonight. The Tigers win it by a final score of 77-49. For now, good night, everybody.